my kitchen getting ready to lay out my ingredients or what I'm going to be cooking. Um, today I'm in the mood for Asian food. Look, I get into these moods to where I can go weeks, sometimes months, eating a certain type of food. And I've been on this Asian inspired kick for like months now. Um, so today I'm gonna to be making stir fried collard greens with cabbage. I'm also gonna be making chicken lettuce wraps and garlic noodles. So this is gonna be a lot of ingredients. I'm gonna to try to take my time and go through each one for you guys. We have crushed red pepper flakes, some garlic powder, some onion powder. As far as fresh vegetables go, we have peppers, ginger, garlic, onion. We have some sliced water chestnuts. I have some green onion. I have some lettuce. I have some sesame oil, honey, soy sauce, chicken stock, garlic, garlic, uh, chili sauce, excuse me, some brown sugar, and some orange juice. I'm gonna be making a glaze, a orange sauce glaze, I should say, because chicken can be very, very bland. And with the seasonings, I'm gonna use that to basically allow my chicken to marinate. Um, so this is the ground chicken breast that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using the entire package, and this can feed, honestly, this can feed three hungry people, but my husband can kill this. I mean, yeah. So here are the ingredients for my stir fried collard greens. Now this is inspired by cooking with Carolyn's recipe. She has a very, very similar recipe. So I wanna link her video down below. I know some of you guys watch her too, but this is gonna be more of an Asian inspired recipe. So my ingredients include, uh, so my, so the ingredients are paprika, crushed red pepper flakes, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, some peppers, ginger, garlic, onion, then I have sesame oil, soy sauce, a package of collard greens, y'all, the, the fresh collard greens here are pathetic, so if I can get bagged, great. And then I have half a head of um, cabbage. I mean My collard greens going in and like I said I got inspiration from cooking with Carolyn I'm gonna add my seasonings um, soy sauce some um, sesame oil and just a little bit of chicken stock maybe like one or two tablespoons of chicken stock you do not have to add that to make it vegetarian um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and like I said add my seasoning and my sauces I'm gonna allow this to cook for about 15 minutes before I add the cabbage here now you're gonna see <laughs> I'm gonna check my cabbage y'all make sure to check your your fruits and vegetables throughout the week so the head of cabbage or at least a half a head of cabbage I had ended up being bad you're gonna see here um so I keep tons of food in the in the kitchen so I have some shredded up cabbage package that I ended up adding to my collard greens now I'm also gonna add a little bit to my chicken once that gets going so coming along yeah it is you can take that out Ooh. 
So now you can see that my chicken has gotten a little color on it. That's because I'm cooking it and slowly adding the liquid, allowing it to evaporate, is evaporate, excuse me, and then add more liquid. I also added some um, honey and more orange juice directly into the cast iron skillet. Now I'm just going to sprinkle in some green onions, and this is going to be done in about 20 more minutes, you guys. If you have any more of the orange sauce, you can use that to drizzle it on. Here's my lettuce I'm preparing, and here's the final dishes. Here's my collard greens and here is my chicken lettuce wraps. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. Bye-bye.